In this video, we're going to talk about should you or should you not insulate and put a ceiling in your pole building. Hi, my name is Chad Johnson. I'm with Trust Components of Washington. I've been in the trust industry for over 30 years, and I'm excited to talk to you about this topic today. I get asked on a regular basis, is a ceiling and insulation something that I can put in a pole barn? And that's a great question. I decided to throw it into ChatGPT and just say, hey, should I insulate and put a ceiling in my pole barn? And it came back with, not only should you, but it's recommended. I'm like, wait, what? Well, it's a great idea to insulate and put a ceiling in your pole building if it was originally designed for that. So the very first thing that you need to check is, was the truss engineering set up to handle the load of insulation and a ceiling? Ceiling types vary. Uh, there's gypsum, which is pretty heavy, OSB or plywood, which is pretty budget friendly, uh, metal, which makes a nice surface, but is very light. Also different types of insulation. You can insulate with a uh, foam sprayed on the rafter portion or the purlins. We can insulate with bat or blown in insulation on joists that are added at the ceiling level. All of these have different implications, different weights. Uh, and so they need to be addressed at the time that your trusses are being ordered and manufactured. Fortunately, over my career, I have seen very few truss systems collapse, but the ones that tend to are the ones that are loaded in ways that they weren't designed for. For instance, a pole building, which in all honesty, the trusses in all cases are designed only to carry the loads that are gonna be imposed on them during the initial design phase. And with a pole building, those are very light loads. Typically a metal roof, uh, if there is any insulation, it's very thin and it's more of just a vapor barrier. And then just the truss self-weight and the purlins that are carrying the roof. Well, think about uh, the design going into that. And then if you add a ceiling, that is, in most cases, more than doubling the dead load that the truss was designed for. A metal ceiling or a metal roof, the truss self weight and the purlins tend to only weigh about three to four pounds per square foot, and gypsum weighs another six pounds per square foot, for instance. And so you're pretty much doubling the weight uh, uh, that those trusses are carrying and then you throw insulation on top of that, that's another couple pounds per square foot, and you're asking those trusses to carry a dead load much beyond what they were designed for if that wasn't managed in the initial design phase. Also, a lot of pole buildings are designed as an agricultural, unoccupied sort, and so it's assumed that the snow will melt off of the roof based on whatever heat is inside the building and then when you insulate it, that prevents the heat from getting up to that roof. And so the snow can stay on there longer. So again, is insulating and putting a sheetrock or putting, again, is insulating and putting a ceiling in your pole building a good idea? Well, certainly it can make it a more comfortable place, but you'll want to take that into consideration when you're designing the building and having your trusses engineered and built. So a couple of different ways that it can be insulated. If we take a look at this as just kind of a generic truss style, uh, because pole barn trusses are spaced separately, uh, typically eight, 10, 12, or 14 feet apart, some sort of ceiling will need to be added in if you wanna insulate and put a flat ceiling in there. Otherwise, if it's designed for it, you can insulate up at the level of the purlins at the top cord, and that will get you uh, an insulated space with a high ceiling in between each of the pole barns. Well, today's video is a pretty quick one. We just wanted to cover whether or not it's a good idea to insulate and put a ceiling in your pole barn. Again, it's a great idea if the trusses were designed for it in the first place. It can make a very nice comfortable place to spend your time in year round. I hope you got something out of this video. And if you'd like to learn more about roof trusses in general, here's a link to a video that talks all about different types of roof trusses. 
And if you'd like to learn about how trusses transfer loads, here's a video on load transfer. We'll see you in the next one.